Okay, so, new video, and unfortunately we didn't get to do two shrines like I had hoped, but I figured this is the best way to go about it. I would have liked to have been able to knock out two shrines, because then I could have gotten extra heart, but it is what it is. Let's go. And for whatever reason, our candelabra is still right here, doing nothing. This is exactly what you think it is. A little bit of each divine beast inside this one area. Though I really wouldn't, like, the game keeps calling it a divine beast, but I wouldn't. Because, like, there's there's no beast about it, it's just a, I can't show that, I don't know why I did that. So then it makes me curious if it did that in the other ones, if it would have brought up the map too. Hold on, can I teleport? I mean, I guess I can if I want to. There's nothing Divine Beast about this. Now this is a pretty complex dungeon to start out, so if you don't know what it is you're looking for, don't feel bad. I didn't either. I wandered around for like a while and I was like, okay, I understand what it is they want, but I don't know how to do it. Based on just going inside this first room, you can tell by looking at it. The point is for everything in here to move. So you ask yourself, how do I get started? Well, the gimmick of this place is you can control the gears, but that still doesn't move this. That's still stationary. What you need to do is this. And now that that's jammed in place, this area starts moving. If you didn't think of that or you didn't see that, I don't blame you. I didn't either, and I don't really know how anyone would. Also, there's a second one of these pieces. Don't make the mistake of bringing that thing in. Because I did, and if you bring it in, you can't take it out. Especially if the area is rotating. And then once it's locked into place, it's in place for good. Now I think it's this way... We will know in a second. That it is wrong. It needs to go the other direction, because those two are not connected. So once it bashes into it on the other side, it'll line up. But that's the whole gimmick of this place, is playing around with the clockwork gears and 
again, I don't blame you if you couldn't figure it out because it took me a second. But once you know what it is you're looking for and you're trying to do, it's monumentally easier. Now that it's connected, you're like in here. But the problem with this is that you can't turn it the other direction to like fix it because it'll just power everything off. So you have to actually wait in here for the stupid room to rotate and it's kind of annoying and awkward. Oh my god. Quickly. So we can get out of here this hellhole as quick as possible. I just now noticed the candelabra design on it. Also, I forgot. Let me go ahead and see if I can't. No? There is a treasure up here. I want to see if I can get it. Thank you. Should be on this side. I didn't get it last time. No? I thought there was a treasure. Maybe it's elsewhere. It doesn't matter. I don't care that much. All the treasures inside this area aren't really worth getting. There it is. So, uh, I was there. It's a Gerudo sword, but it's like the very, very baby form of it. So, like, don't even bother. Because, like, unless you want to do 10 damage to something, it's, it's not worth messing with. Come on, let me mess you up. I want to get rid of this frost blade since it's mostly there. I thought you were already dead. Hurry up. Also, I just realized none of my... I mean, I think I knew that before. None of my abilities are here. Ow. There. Now I have one less piece of shit clogging up my inventory. And we decided to use Thunderblade. Because we got two of those. I only got about, like, halfway through this dungeon before things were... Uh, before I noticed Elgato was being shit. Now, for whatever reason... No, it's moving. That's weird. It definitely was not moving before. But the way I did this was going this way next. So, right along the gears, and up top over here, you can see that little rotating fan? There's a chest behind it. If you stasis it with the right timing, you can get a Gerudo shield. I mean, if you want a crappy weapon, go for it, but I'm personally not interested. Don't do that. I said no. See, I don't even care so much because it's still a lot of damage I'm doing to them. He's gonna fall. Yeah, well, guess who got the last laugh, bitch? I'll give you a hint, it wasn't you. Alright, so let me grab this chest first. Excuse me. Because this side I actually don't remember what's inside. Actually, I think it was something good. I think it was bomb arrows? Yeah, okay. Now that little piece right there, this is what I made the mistake of doing. I brought that into the Nabora section, and you can't get it out. So if you do that, you've broken it. Don't do that. It will be not possible to complete. Wait for it to line up, lock it into place, there you go. It's, it's simple when you know what it is you're doing. It's just getting that start that's hard. And then even then, you can see where that piece fits in and where how it's all going to work itself out and stuff like that. So it does become pretty cool. Do you want stasis for this portion? Gotta wait for this to rotate. This does exactly what you think it does. The direction the gears are spinning dictates the fan. So, of course, you're going to have to switch it back and forth. And go. I'm doing it the exact same way I did when I first did it, but... I mean, it's tricky at first. Alright, so, I like to stasis the platforms this way I can secure my landing. 
And uh, this is a technical goof I made during the fail recording. Do not jump until you're on the right side, because that's where the terminal is. Wow, I actually thought I messed that up for a minute. If you go to the left, there's nothing there, and you can't do anything. And then you got to do it all over again, and it's just stupid. So make sure you remember that it's on the left. Also, I realized during this that there's the candelabra. I didn't know that before. I guess the candelabra is supposed to look like something. Because I see like a head and what looks like a tail. Alright, that was poor timing. I went to take a drink, and then by the time I was done with the drink, I was like, let's go! And then Stasis was like, yeah, bitch. I can still do this, though. Surprise! Do you mind? I'm in the middle of exploding. Oh, but I have room in my inventory for that shit. Oh. But see, that's what I mean, is you technically... You get stuff, but it's not stuff you would want. Like, I guess I have a sparrow bow now, in case I want to shoot some fucking Korok stuff, but that's about all it's good for. Oh, I just realized that stops that too. That's interesting. Now, let me see if I can remember how to get this next section done. We want to go back up the gears and ride it. And as you uh, progress, more dangerous friends come out to play. So guys like this dude actively spawn. He doesn't seem to care too much, so I guess just have at it. Oh, right. Stamina. Bitch, you're not gonna do nothing. Let it finish itself off, do that. Let's go ahead and use that guardian axe we just picked up. I was gonna use the master sword, but... Sweet, he's dead. This battle axe isn't too bad, though. That's... I mean, technically we have seen them. They were in uh, Hyrule Castle. That's pretty much the only place they are. Right on up. Honestly, like, I think the Guardian stuff just looks so cool. Like, if there's ever a replica of, like, a Guardian sword or something like that, I want to buy that. Because it would just look cool. I feel like it would be a hard thing to make a replica of, but it'd be cool. Now this, I want to say it was all stasis. How to do again. I think it was like this. So then it pushes, and then you go like this. Yeah. It was a little bit more lenient than I thought, but whatever. Uh, that was a simple one. Just do this. And then you want to try and get over on this little scoop here so it can take you places. But it's really cool. Like, it's, it's an enjoyable dungeon. Again, it's just starting off is a bitch if you don't know what the hell you're doing. I think it's best to fly from here if you'd like. Thank you. It just kind of has the cliche of, you know, do all the trials like you think it would. This, I remember, but I don't, I don't think it matters which way you do it, so. Let us, screw it, we'll just use the Guardian Battle Axe, I don't care about it. Yeah, because see, it seemed like it wants you to do it twice. But see, that does it the other way. And I hit it in the exact same spot.
See, now, that might seem dumb, but all I did was hit it in the exact same spot during, you know, when I first did it, and it did that. As for this time, it seems like it was a little bit more anal, and it's like, no, 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 you gotta do it this way. So that was why I did it, was because I didn't understand that it I actually wanted to follow the rules of physics and stuff. Uh, let's keep the flame blade. Stuff like that, because it didn't seem to care before, and now all of a sudden it does. So that was why I was confused just then. And then you... I need to find... There's something I'm looking for. Oh, it's it's right there. Alright, pick it up. And then... Oh, step off of it. Put it right down there. And then watch. Bam. I really like that. I think that's pretty cool. Now, here's what's funny. Was I had this dumb blonde moment of... Okay, now what? But, you know... Cry on us. Like, I had to think about that for a second. It wasn't... it didn't clue in immediately, and I felt kind of stupid for it. So, like, bird face... I don't know. I never really noticed the design of that. I'd have to look back at that first... cutscene where they're all lit up. Because to me, those don't really mean anything. I guess that's bird, and I guess that's salamander too, but those two would be like either. I don't know. Now, we gotta get out of here. There's only one opening, by the way, apparently. It took forever for me to find it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it's either this part or the next part. It's going to be a big bag of danger field. Alright. So I think you can technically just do this one from the start, but... Like, I don't know. <laughs> I just remember having that moment of like, wait, could I always do this? And the answer seems to be yes, because it's, it's moving automatically. Unless there's something I did to make it move, I think you can just do this from the beginning. Like, if there's something you need to do to d make it move, I don't know what it is. Let me know. Answers on a postcard. Here's the Daruk section, which, uh, I mean, I guess that's going the right way. No, it's not. Well, let's make it turn this way to start, and then go ahead and flip it over. Pretty, pretty slow and simple, if you ask me. But they were at least kind enough to uh, give you this platform here, so this way you can time your jump instead of trying to balance the two. Thank you. Oh shit, didn't this one... No, I don't think it did. Did it? Okay, no. Alright, so this one's really weird. I'm gonna take a little bit of trial. But I believe that top part there is what we need the ball to go into. But getting it into that is, uh, we'll see. How about now? Alright, it's inside. And then you kind of just play around with the rolling. Pay attention to where it is. Oh, now it's down there, so now we got to turn it the other way. So it can end up in that middle part. It's kind of hard to say without, like, pointing. Like, it's a, it's a simple puzzle, but still kind of fun. Let it roll all the way down here. And then flip it back. Now, my depth perception on this is, like, non-existent. But that thing is actively above us, and I didn't realize it was above us. But, uh... Yeah, right there. I thought it was of, like, made it fall in the lava, so I was like, well, I don't get it, what's the point? And then they, uh, give you this little speed shoot. But they also give you... 
Huh. Link, I'm gonna need you to be really careful there. Now, I don't know if they thought of this or not. Oh, God. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> but <laughs> but that's the shortcut I discovered. I, I made the ball go in. That's pretty great. I guess you could also maybe just paraglide? What about paragliding? Let's just paraglide. Yeah, paragliding makes a lot more sense than walking across it. I don't know why I didn't do that. I would say Daruk's probably just the easiest. Always. Daruk's just an easy guy. Alright. That's all of them. Now we just gotta wait for this thing to... Oh, good. We don't have to wait for very long. For this to rotate. So we can... Hi. Um, I kind of want to test this out. Like, I did notice that one of the dudes was flying a little bit crooked in the uh, video with Mifa. Mifa's trials. I don't actually think I need to go up here. I don't know why I'm going up here. Get up, get down. Get, get, okay, Link. Get down. Get down. Calm down. Go this way. We don't actually need to go that way. Just ignore him, I guess. Or worry about it some other time. Because we can just stand here. You had it. Just keep pushing it forward until it eventually rotates into place. Like right now. Before I do this, let me go ahead and put you on. Go ahead and switch back to regular arrows. Grab our Master Sword. I think we'll be able eh. Let's go ahead and eat that. And I guess we'll eat that too. Just to be at full health. Alright, time for something that feels kind of rad and unique. Uh oh. Hopefully it doesn't lightning down on us. Uh, excuse me, hold on. Go ahead, stasis him. Bash him a bunch. He's a bit of a tough fight, actually, I will not lie to you. Like, I feel like I kind of got by by some, uh, you know, the abilities made all the difference. She didn't do that. See, like, Daruk makes a difference. Go ahead and just milk it for what it's worth, as at this point I don't really see a reason not to. What's interesting to me about this 
is that the Master Sword does extra damage to him. And I'm curious why that is if he's considered a good guy. Now this part's about as fun as you think. So my suggestion... Urbosa's Fury. Might seem like a bit of a cheap tactic, but so is multiplying, so fuck off. Oh, it's low? I thought it was out. Now it's out. Okay, what can we use next? Uh, let me try some. Alright, well that didn't work. Um... Come on, give him a whack. Unfortunately, you can only do it so many times, but it does help. And if you're able to have them all line up like that, it also makes things easier. In other words, it's just best of luck to you, my friend. I don't know what the secret is to be able to tell which one's which. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> that's how you know. If you can whack him in the face and he doesn't disappear, it's definitely the right one. Ow. If you're lucky enough to time the stasis right. Ow. Ow? Hello? So if you can stasis him before he multiplies, that helps. But that's a huge if. Get away from this edge. Hi, friend. In other words, it is really good that the ability is recharged so quickly. Ow. Like, I don't know if maybe... The red ring means anything? No? Because that was the dude who showed up out of the red ring. Found him! Oh. Oh, okay. How those bracelets stay on his wrist, I don't know. Uh. Oh shit, yeah, this thing, you don't have a choice. Uh, let me go ahead and switch shields real quick, just in case. Use just this. Or I guess you could do that. Oh, shit, that's right, he also has this thing. Yeah, go ahead, hit him back. It makes a lot of difference. If I can pick it up, if I can move. There you go. Finally, we got him down. He has not exactly been super nice to me. Oh, here we're back. I think out of all of them, this is my favorite because it's the easiest to do something about. If he... <laughs> I'm hopeful that one day I can play a video game. Hit the fool. 
Thank you. Ow. I thought that was the claymore breaking at first, but it was my spine. What can we use next? Uh, I guess we never finished using this. Thankfully, we haven't been too, doing too bad as far as damage goes. Here, can we just stop him real quick? That should be enough to finish him. There you go. Yeah, this is, technically, this was a much better performance than uh, my first time. Because I had to finish him off with Urbosa's Fury. Oh. Hmm. Ah, it's you. I can't put my feather on it, but I get the feeling you've, you're even more accomplished than you were when we last met. I happen to have a perfect song for someone as esteemed as you. I would love to sing it for you. My teacher's unfinished song, the one I told you about. Oh. I finally completed the key verses. Mm. The lofty location is a perfect stage to sing this special song. It takes place a hundred years ago at Hyrule Castle. Yes, the very castle you still see over yonder. It's about the magnificent inauguration of the Chosen Champions. If you would, please listen to this special song, The Champion's Ballad.
warriors. I'd like to thank you for joining me here today. And for your bravery in accepting this fateful task. I officially appoint you Hyrule's champions and bestow upon you this sacred garb. That blue is a symbol of the royal family, one that has been passed down for countless generations. Those garments you now wear were all crafted by my daughter, Zelda. Zelda, I trust you with the task only a daughter of the royal family can fulfill. Lead our champions, princess, and together, Protect our kingdom from the threat of Calamity Ganon. <laughs> I tell you, those formal shindigs really take it out of me. This is the Sheikah Slate, eh? It is. Apparently, there are more uses for it than we originally thought. Sadly, we've yet to decipher all of its secrets. The princess showed me something strange recently. Somehow it can create true-to-life images. Wow. I would love to see it. Um, princess? May I ask a special favor of you? All right, this spot should work nicely. Keep your eyes on the Sheikah Slate, everyone. Uh, Daruk, can you crouch down a bit? You're as big as Death Mountain. Huh? Oh. What's with the glum face, princess? Give me a big smile. Huh? <sighs> Ravali, move your tail closer to the group. <sighs> Fine. Mifa, he looks so tense. Deep breaths, okay? Right. <sighs> Stay just like that. Here we go. Smile. Click snap. After the ceremony, they would all forever be known as champions. My teacher always advised me to write songs that transport the listener to the moment in time that you're singing of. Now I finally feel like I understand what he meant, and the true power of music. By the way, I found this when I was looking through my old teacher's notes. I was thinking, you should be the one to keep it. Your courageous heart reminds me of the immutable spirit of the champions. I know you'll treasure it. A final thought. May the souls of the champions who watch over Hyrule rest in peace. Link. 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 I have watched your journey. Every step. You have overcome every challenge with great courage. With the power that you have attained, I am certain you can defeat Calamity Ganon. Truly. 
Bringing back the HUDs, the only way you know the co Oh, they didn't fill my health back up? What a bitch. Alright, so I got a few things I want to say. And I feel like, uh, now is about as... I, I want to do it now. Well, it's, that's what I want to do. I want to change my shield back. Uh, and give myself a weapon. I guess that sort of will be okay. Um... Yeah, here's the Master Cycle Zero. The Zero is how you know it's cool. Now, I haven't really played around with this too, too much. Uh, got a special jump for this. I stand by the statement that it'll probably be like horses, and I probably just won't use it too much because this is a video game about climbing. So I do feel like it's kind of dumb. I'm not exactly a fan of using ancient parts to, you know, fill it back up, but whatever. I don't really care that much. It's not that big of a deal. Because, again, I probably won't be using it much. Um... The girl who's taking the photo, she sounds just like the girl in Mario vs. Rabbids, and I did checking while that cutscene was playing. The girl in Mario vs. Ra Rabbids is like Casey Chase or something like that, and she doesn't have any sort of prior works. And I looked up the Breath of the Wild IMDB, and it doesn't mention anything about the photographer. So if that is the same character, sweet, I noticed something. If not, I'm really, really curious, and it's just... It's one of those where it's like, I feel like I want to know who they are. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to mention?